Good morning, good people of the internet. Um, who watches my videos? Um, it's not actually morning. It's like 1 p.m. Yeah, it is. It is a uh, 1 p.m. I have pretty much just woken up. Um, it's, I don't usually sleep this late, but I was up until like 5 a.m. Because we were doing sprints until 3 a.m. yesterday. And then I was super tired, but I couldn't sleep. So I was up another two hours, as can happen. Um, I did watch Man of Steel. I have questions. Why does... Henry Cavill's teeth look weird. <laughs> I did Google it and um, I couldn't find any answer for that. I did find for like the Justice League one because he was filming like Mission Impossible at the same time and had a big tash and wasn't allowed to shave it off. So they CGI'd his face. So looking forward to that. But there was nothing of on Man of Steel except that Henry Cavill... Um, which is he hadn't smiled that way, which is maybe what I'm picking up on. Anyway, it looked weird, but not the point of this blog. Blog? Blog. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, I'm pretty much just setting up. You can see my mess in the back. Yeah. Oh, that was a lot of sneezing. That's made me feel weird. So I'm pretty much setting up. So I have a cup of tea. It's needed. Um, I've also, and people are going to judge me for this, but uh, last night I picked up a too good to go bag. So, um, and in there there were some scones. And yes, that is a lot of cream cheese and marmalade on my scones. Um, that's because, um, they give you, like, these big packets, and it would fit for, like, it would be enough for, like, one more scone, but I only got one scone, so, yeah. Could have just had cream cheese, didn't wanna, I wanted some, some marmalade on that little munchiness, and, uh, yeah, opening one of those little tiny jars. You're just getting it all out. Anyway. I've got some breakfast to eat. And then I'll update you on today's madness. Why am I doing this? Because I'm crazy! <laughs> See you later. <coughs> So this will probably be my setup for most of the day, at least for as long as we're doing the sprints. And um, yeah, so I got some books that I should read, mostly because I have started them and also because uh, they are on my October TBR. So on my October TBR, out of the four books I have in front of me, I have Bad Choices by Lucy Vine, I have The Switch by Beth O'Leary, and then on my TBR is Hope and Happiness in Blue Bellwood by Isla McNamara. However, I kind of read her books in publication order, and uh, the book before that is Secrets and Seashells at Rainbow Bay, which I have started, so I want to finish this one before I go into this one. So, to like go through the books. So we'll start with Bad Choices. So I'm gonna read the back of it because yeah, summarization for me is, I don't know how to do that. Um, okay, so Nat and Zoe has always shared everything. Hopeless crushes, emergency tampons, messy sex stories, work triumphs, 
Those days where you can't stop crying in the loose, those days where you can't stop dancing on the bar. They even share the same birthday, for fuck's sake. Their struggle is real, but they'll always have each other. Except best friends forever is a hard promise to keep. So I am on page 54. Um, so I've read some of it. So this book starts off with like a pro, 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 pro. This book starts off with a prologue in present day and then it goes to like 20 years earlier when they first meet. So in the present day prologue, um, we don't know which one of the girls we're following. Uh, and I have kind of a feeling uh, we are like at the funeral of the other girl. And I kind of really want to be proven wrong. <laughs> um, so then we start off uh, 20 years earlier, uh, where they first met in the Louvre, I'm pretty sure it was. And they found out, they, geez, I can't talk. Uh, and they find out that they are born on the same day. They have like similar stories, but also not. They're very different, but yeah. So on the cover it says two friends, two decades, one big mistake. So we could actually also be in the wedding of someone else. Now I'm still think I still get funeral vibes from that beginning and I really don't want it to be because that's just sad. Could also be someone else though. I don't know. Um honestly, uh I love Lucy Vine. Her books are hilarious this is the fourth one so we have uh what were they all called before then hot mess what fresh hell and are we nearly there yet i highly recommend her books i will probably recommend this one as well even though i've not finished it yet but she's so funny yes and then we have The Switch by Beth O'Leary, and I am on page but 22, which is chapter 3. I'm in the middle of a chapter of this one, by the way. Um, so... Blah, 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 blah. After blowing a big presentation at work, Lena takes a two-month sabbatical and escapes to her grandmother Eileen's house for some overdue rest. Eileen is newly single and about to turn 80. She'd like a second chance of love, but her tiny Yorkshire village doesn't offer many eligible gentlemen. A life swap seems the perfect solution. But with a rabble of unruly OAPs to contend with, as well as this distractingly handsome local school teacher, Lena learns that switching lives isn't straightforward. In London, Eileen is a huge hit with her new neighbours and with the online dating scene, but is her perfect match nearer to home than she first thought? So yeah, um, basically not a lot has happened in the, um, in the two chapters I've read. Uh, I've only had like a bit of Eileen and a bit of Lena's, um, like start so very little has happened no vibes yet no vibes and then for secrets and seashells at rainbow bay i am on page um well i've read 16 pages i am about to start chapter three in this one as well Amelia is a single mother doing her very best to look after her young son, Charlie. The money is tight and times are tough. When she first hears that she is the last descendant of the Chesterford family and that she has inherited a real-life castle by the sea, Amelia can't quite believe her ears, but it's true. Living in a castle on beautiful Northumberland coast is fun at first, but organising the day-to-day -day running is a lot more complicated than Amelia first thought imagined. Luckily she has help from a small band of eccentric and unconventional staff that are already employed there and from a mysterious unseen hand that often gives her a push in the right direction just when she needs it most. And when she meets Tom, a furniture restorer who comes to the castle to help prepare some antique furniture, Amelia realizes that she might get the fairytale ending that she and Charlie truly deserves. So 
Um, the only thing that's happened in this book yet is um, basically we see how, like, well, let's say badly, uh, Amelia and Charlie are living. And then this uh, man shows up, but well, he tries to, like, um, get connected with her. <laughs> he tries to get in contact with her, and she's like, nah, I don't know you. Uh, but then she gets, like, the, here's your, here's your, what's it called? Yeah, here's your thing. Here's your castle, basically. And, yeah, all that really... <laughs> yeah, that's, <clears throat> that's a lot. So, Ali McNamara's books are, are all of them... Well, most of them. There's some sort of, like, magical realism to them. Um, so she has that. It's not, like, the full premise plot. Um, it might be for these ones. Who knows? Uh, but some of them have had, like, some very magical elements. But it's not, like, the thing that's driving in the whole thing. But it's, like, it's the mystery that we want to find out about. So I have those three to start with, and whenever I finish this one, I will start reading this one. Now, why do I have so many started books, and why do they seem to be, like, in the same place? Well, <laughs> sometimes I get a little, like, streak of madness in the middle of the night, and I pick up, like, 20 books or so, and read a chapter or two of each book. And then I sort of forget about them because I eventually find the book that piques my interest the most and just go on with that one. And that's what happens. <laughs> eventually I do always like go back to the books I have started and um, finish them. But sometimes this takes a while. Uh, I don't even know when I started these three. But it was not very recently. <laughs> Let's say that. Yeah. Um, so for this like a little madness thing I am going to attempt to read as much as I can for 24 hours there will be breaks and stuff because we are currently live on Katie's channel as of this moment and we will probably be live on my channel as well and possibly Val's as well um, so we shall see how it all goes I just know I'm tired when I'm starting this and uh, I will regret my life choices. Yeah! But hopefully I will get to finish the book. So all in all, I think if I did the calculations correctly, there are 1,399 pages in all of these books. Wish me luck. I'm gonna attempt to read this. Don't judge me. So, Zoe, I did some marijuana while you were gone. Fuck off, did you? She is so shocked, I can tell. I bask in the glory for a moment. The truth is, I'd always been such a goody two-shoes when it came to drugs. I always wanted to be brave, but the one time we went to a club and someone actually offered us a pill, I screamed, Leah Betts! And ran away to hide in the loo until Zoe came in to reassure me that drugs had gone away. What happened? She scooches in close and I smile widely, delighted to be the one in the exciting anecdote for once. I've been so desperate to tell her. When was this? Who do you do it with? My friend Troy. I told you about him, right? He's on my course and he made some edibles at his house to share one weekend. I shrug, trying to sound as nonchalant as possible. Honestly though, it had like zero effect on me. I kept waiting for something to happen and Choi kept asking me if I, if I was okay, but I felt nothing. I was just staring at the ceiling for a couple of hours. Then I freaked out a bit and sat up all night, ready to ring an ambulance just in case, but it was fine. I'm immensely proud of myself and Zoe is looking at me like she's proud too. That's very cool, Nat, she smiles. What kind of edible was it, a hash brownie? I laugh a tad condescendingly. Um, so I think you mean hash browns, actually. She frowns. Wait, you had hash browns? 
He put hash in potato breakfast food. I return a frown. What do you mean? What do you mean? She looks puzzled. Tell me exactly what happened. I sigh, feeling frustrated and drunk. So we were studying at Troy's and we stopped for lunch. He asked me if I'd like some eggs and hash brown because he was going to have some. I thought, why not? I'm a uni. If I don't experiment now, when will I? But I wasn't very impressed with it. That, she said slowly and carefully, hash browns and hash brownies are very, very different things. You did not have drugs, you had potato. That's um, the genius, the comedic genius that is Lucy Vine. Go read her books. Right, so. Um, so the story, like the narration, like jumps a couple of a year, a couple of years at a time, and not gonna lie, had a bit of a difficulty catching up. Not catching up, but yeah, hanging on to the not hanging on either. Um, what am I trying to say? Following along, that's the word. Had a bit of an issue had a tiny bit of a difficulty following along that is usually my my deal so uh natalie has been dating this guy joe for a while and so he doesn't like him <laughs> and to be honest with you neither do i uh, he like from the start when he comes in he doesn't seem like the best kind of dude and I mean, the, the way Natalie is, she basically hates herself and she's constantly putting herself down. Um, so it's not like the best situation to start with. But then now, um, from Zoe's perspective, uh, they, they, they're meeting up for the birthday as they do every year. And well, Natalie doesn't look like she used to look and she says it's because she's been like hitting the gym a lot but according to Zoe it's more like she stopped eating kind of a weight loss deal so she's looking like very hollow and just not very well and, and there's like little beast bits and pieces of their conversation that makes me think something is not, something bad is about to happen really. Uh, something terrible is about to happen and I'm not ready for it. I don't think I'm ready for it honestly. Uh, also I'm gonna drink the last of this. Is it focus? Yeah. This is, by the way, disgusting coffee. So I have extra sugar and more milk in my mug. Cue the coffee maker. I'm here for it. Also, terrified. I don't think my sanity is here for it. Crisis averted. Things seem to be fine for now. Might have been a little hysterical part. But it's fine now. Also, there's... A <laughs> there's a character, or mention of a character, rather, called Percy. Yeah, I really think... So, so, and like um, her first book, there's a character called Elizabeth Shelley, which is my middle name and first name reversed. I know it's because her middle name is Elizabeth and her mother's uh, name uh, is Shelley. So, I really think Lucy Vine and I need to be friends because there's so many connections. <laughs> That's didn't sound creepy at all. 
Wow. Until later. Update. We've just gone back to like present time. Definitely, definitely a funeral. Okay, before sprints start again. Drama. There is drama in the plot and it's crazy and I love it. So yeah. <laughs> It is now the next day and uh, I thought we'd do an update because <laughs> yeah I felt terrible my body was like you are dying and so I literally crashed and I did not finish a single book I did read so I don't have I, d I only have this much left of bad choices so I mean I did read a lot I just didn't read a lot um, yeah I don't think it was the best time to start one of these 24 hour madness ones because I wasn't feeling great to start with I was super tired to start with and then it just sort of escalated down so you know I failed it happens and we move on yeah so yeah this is the end of this vlog and hopefully next vlog will be a little better will go a little better um i mean i did read i want to say i've read about 150 pages in like 12 hours so yeah that's how badly it was going i was reading so so slowly um so yeah it, it, it wasn't great it wasn't great so yeah hashtag fail but it's fine i am only human you know and so is everybody else mostly <laughs> well thank you for watching this vlog i hope next one will be better and uh yeah bye